Good morning, children. I'm glad to have a chance to talk with you on this Lord's Day. Thank you for being here today. And if you have an opportunity, come right around and gather around my my rocking chair today, sort of around your computer or your screen, but I'd love to talk with you. In today's gospel story, we heard about Jesus who visited some people along the road as they were walking, and then they invited Jesus into their house. And when he got inside the house, they were ready to serve food. And part of that food was some bread. And when they served the bread to Jesus, he took the bread like this. Do you see this beautiful loaf of bread? This is a loaf of maple walnut sourdough bread that my wife Joyce has been making. And it is yummy. I've got a piece over here on the side that I've already started. And if you were here, I would love to share this with you. But every time I eat a piece of this bread, we've been thinking about you and about your families. In our home, we've been praying for you because when we break bread together, we think especially of one another. And so when they invited Jesus into their home, Jesus took the bread that had offered and then he began to offer it back to them. He took a piece of bread, the loaf, and he blessed it and he broke the bread and he gave it to them. And in doing that, they remi he reminded them of his love for them and of God's love for them. They remembered when Jesus did that. They remembered what he had done just a few days earlier in the Passover supper and how much he was giving his life for them. And so here's what I want you to remember today, that every time you you break bread, or that's another way to say every time you eat together and have food on your table, it's a chance for you to give thanks to God who loves you and cares for you and to know that God is actually present with you in the love of others and in God's love for you, present with you by the Holy Spirit. And so when you eat together, when you break bread, remember how much God loves you, but also remember how much the people love you who make bread for you, who put food on your table. Not only do I remember the love of God when I have a meal at my home and when you have a meal at your home, we can also remember the people who made it for us, the people who love us, the people who provided it for us. And when we do that, when we break bread with other people, we are actually finding a way to share food with one another. And in sharing food with one another, we are sharing our love with one another. So when you eat today, I want you to remember how much God loves you, how much your family loves you, how much you love others. And when we break bread, we especially remember people who don't have something to eat today. And I would ask that you would join me now in prayer to thank the Lord for giving us food to eat for giving us loving homes and families, and for helping us know how much God loves us in Jesus. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, thank you for these, your children. I pray that you would pour out the abundance of your blessing upon them. Help them to be followers of Jesus every day of their lives. Help them to share your love with others. Help them to know the love of their homes and their families and their loved ones. And help them to be the kinds of people who share love with others. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you. Have a great day.